condensed milk, we got the coconut milk, we got the crema de coco, we have um, more condensed milk, that's, that's all the milk. Then we have the real almonds, real pistachios, real pistachios. Oh, I bought um, almond uh, flavored uh, extract. It's then the Mexican almond uh, vanilla extract. And the nutmeg. And the cinnamon. Oh! And we're gonna start. So our first step right now, we are toasting the almonds. So I'm gonna toast the almonds. So once you want to see a little char, like a little tiny bit, because they smell like burnt, but they're not burnt yet. So I got to take them out. Welcome to a new video. And on this video, we're going to be cooking some... Making, not cooking. We already cooked what we need to cook. Anyway, so there's, we're gonna make uh, Puerto Rican coquito, but Mexican making it. And to be honest, I think I'm gonna put my own flavors on it. Like, it, I saw the recipe, I saw how it's, it's made. However, I got like this little Mexican vanilla blend, which is probably the same thing, but then it didn't call for, um, almond flavoring just like the extract so i'm putting that as well and then we got cinnamon which it takes another thing they didn't take was the coconut flakes and the uh grated coconut milk or it's not milk it's grated coconut but on so very basically on this one we're gonna make three types three types of coquito and the first one is gonna be the original coconut then it's gonna be the um, pistachios and then the almonds. So as you guys seen previously, we already roasted um, the almonds, the coconut and the pistachios. So that way it brings out the flavor. So that's my own touch too, cause I didn't see anybody doing that. Because these are already roasted, but if you roast them a little bit before you put them in the blender, it's gonna give a lot of flavor, a lot of great flavor. For that's what I think. This is what my um, my recipe is gonna be copied and followed by the Puerto Rican rum, but I'm doing it on my style. So, all right. So, and basically, these are gonna be the bottles we're gonna put in them into. So these are 750 milligrams, and I bought them on Amazon with their tops. So basically, this is where we're gonna put what's you know blended. But that's at the end. All right, so the first one, I have a helper. I have a little helper. Um, so she's gonna be passing me, handing me what I need. So I can, uh, we don't really need to follow the recipe because basically it's one of each. Like the coconut has this grated coconut. And then um, each, each, each uh, batch is gonna make one of each batch. Uh, Cans gonna make the batch, so I don't need to measure. Um, the only thing I do need to measure is the Bacardi because um, we don't want to add too much. The recipe calls for half a um, half a cup. So, all right. So the first one is gonna be sweet and condensed milk. One can. So like one of the little cups, 
I don't know if you, uh, the little crystal clear looking ones on a cup of ice. And then top it with this. Oh. It's like you chilling and eating now, drinking your little drink. This one is the evaporated. It says fat free. Honestly, I didn't even it. So, it's a fat free evaporated milk. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. Oh my god, this one jumped. Ooh, this guy. Alright, so, I don't know, we should have shook the cans first. You want to do that? Yeah, make sure it's not open before you shake it. So this one is the leche de coco, which is the coconut milk. Wait, what else is this one? You already threw them out? And this one is um, cream of coconut. Ooh. So right now I feel like I'm gonna blend it right now because it's looking a little bit full. So here. Um here we go. Uh, it, 
this is way too thick and the hole was way too little so we found a little measuring cup that works perfectly fine for this. So what I see right now is that there's chunks of coconut oil left but don't worry about that. That's what people are gonna feel they're gonna feel when they're drinking it. So don't worry about that. A little bit of improvising again. We're just pouring this in. So you want to pour me? Alright. So it looks like that's gonna be enough for two, which that was my plan originally. Alright, so what I'm thinking is let's do a test. Tell me. Girl, that's too much. Like this, just over, uh, over some ice, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so 
basically those are the three types of coquitos that we're making again it's a little bit of my mix the mexican mix um again you gotta write down these recipes because i might put it down below but i don't know if he's gonna end up there anyway so um i'm just we're just gonna finish the rest of these we made six in total two pistachios two almonds and two coconuts and then we put two one whole cup and then maybe a third a cup and a third of uh, rum as you can see it's like half the bottle so it means that this other half of the bottle should be enough for the remaining of our um batch so yep this is it i'm gonna leave the leftovers i bought a lot of leftovers for the next um the next time because we're also gonna be making for christmas and for new year's so again just uh if you want to see more recipes like this don't ask me to make more because this is the only thing so yeah thank you for watching